To fly as a commercial remote pilot, there are several things you have to do to complete a proper pre-flight. One of the most important things is to become familiar with all of the irregular activity going on within the airspace that you'll be flying. The most important thing to look out for is temporary flight restrictions, or TFRs. These are part-time no-go zones that pop up when something important is happening within that airspace. These will typically pop up over major league sporting events, festivals, or when a political figure is in an area. When these are active, they are not to be messed with. Blasting through a TFR could mean anything from losing your certificate to jail time. You can find out where TFRs are located by visiting tfr.faa.gov or calling a flight service briefer, which we'll go over in a minute. Next comes NOTAMs. NOTAM is short for Notice to Airmen, and it's the FAA's way of telling us all of the safety of flight issues within the national airspace at any given time. There are several ways to find out about NOTAMs around your area of operation. The first of which is to call a briefer at 1-800-WX-BRIEF. This is a service provided by Lockheed Martin that has operators standing by to explain any activity within a certain airspace. When you call a briefer, tell them that you're a remote pilot and ask for an abbreviated briefing. Tell them where you'll be flying, how high, and the time frame, and ask for any TFRs and NOTAMs that will affect you. In my personal opinion, this is the quickest and most reliable way of finding out what's going on in your area. The next way is to check online. There are several sites that this can be accomplished, but we'll go through them here in order of officiality. Pilotweb.nas.faa.gov and notams.aim.faa.gov are the FAA's official outlets for releasing NOTAMs. The next option is 1-800-WXBRIEF.COM. These are the same people that answer the phone number, but you can really take your time looking through the NOTAMs on the website. They've even added a drop-down menu specifically for UAS operators on the site that makes things quick and easy. The last way is to use third-party sites like ForeFlight or SkyVector to get your information. These are great resources and are almost always up to date and accurate, but it never hurts to go straight to the source. So NOTAMs and TFRs are the FAA's way of keeping us all informed of all the irregular activity going on within the national airspace system. To dig into this in more detail, go to onlinegroundschool.com. Thanks for watching guys. Click like and subscribe to this video for more awesome content. Good flying.